The DOE has built a facility to demonstrate that it's possible to dispose of transuranic waste containing plutonium if they have negligible heat loading. They are using a geologic formation called a salt dome to dispose of these transuranic waste generated as a part of the Cold War effort. By definition, these salt domes have been free of groundwater or they would not be there. WIP uses a salt dome that's been stable for at least 250 million years. This salt dome is located near Carlsbad, New Mexico, and is the first deep geologic repository for permanent disposal of defense-related transuranic waste in the United States. This transuranic waste consists primarily of protective clothing, tools, glassware, equipment, soils and sludges that have been contaminated with trace amounts of man-made radioactive materials such as plutonium. As you can see from the map here, this low-level transuranic waste is shipped from Hanford, Washington, Idaho National Labs, Rocky Flats, Los Alamos, Lawrence Rivermore, and the Nevada National Test Site to the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant for disposal. Here's a picture of what the WIP facility looks like, but of course the real action takes place underground. Here is a schematic of the geologic profile of the WIP site, showing that the radioactive waste sits above sea level in the salt dome.